Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and today in Honkai Star Rail, we're going over the Fu Xuan character preview. And we're going to go over if you should or should not pull for her. She is a new Quantum 5 star preservation character, so let's go over it. Hey Trailblazers, today we have the character preview for Fu Xuan, Knowledge Exchanged with Pain. So... I'm gonna say this, probably if you don't have a good Quantum 5 star that you've pulled yet, you know, Seelie or anything like that, this is probably a good idea to pull for her, but let's go over. Here's her story and personal matters, if you're curious about those, I'm not gonna go over those because that's, you know, lore if you so choose. Her character overview, Fu Xuan is a defensive character who can reduce the damage taken by all allies, share damage taken by other teammates, and increase the crit rate of all allies, right? So sounds pretty good. When Fu Xuan's HP is at a certain percentage or lower, she will restore her HP. Already sounds overall like a good support tank. And, you know, the buffing of crit rate? Amazing. Let's see. Traces. When Matrix of Pre Presence is active, Fu Xuan will regenerate ex uh, extra energy when she uses her skill. Okay. When Fu Xuan's ultimate is used, heals all other allies. Okay, so her ultimate is just a full heal as well, but we'll see how strong that is, because that sounds really good. She might actually be a healer as well. Okay, so she's a tank, a healer, so she has barrier and heals and buffs for crit rate. I'm sad, because I don't know if I can pull for her. If a target enemy applies crowd control debuff to allies while the matrix of presence is active, all allies will resist all crowd control debuffs applied by the enemy target during the current action. This effect can only be triggered once. When Matrix of Presence is active again, the number of times this effect can be triggered will reset. Okay, so it can only uh, be active once at a time. Cool. Of fortune comes fate. After the technique is used, all allied team members receive a barrier lasting for a certain period. This barrier can block all enemy attacks and the team will not enter battle when attacked. Entering battle while the barrier is active will have Fu Xuan automatically activate Matrix of Presence at the start of the battle lasting for a certain number of turns. Cool. Her basic attack is just quantum damage, overall what you expect, right? Her talent, Bleak Breeds Bliss. When Fu Xuan is in combat, she can apply Misfortune Avoidance for the team. Misfortune Avoidance allows target characters to take reduced damage while the state is active. When Fu Xuan's current HP falls below a per certain percent, HP Restore will be triggered to help her regain certain amount of HP, about of HP. Nice. If she takes a killing blow, this effect will not be able to trigger. This effect can only trigger one time initially and two times max. Okay, so this is uh, just Bailu, essentially, ability as well. Cool. The same, like, uh, revive type idea, except for her, it's just heal. So maybe more Natasha? Anyways, skill. Activating Matrix of Presence will distribute a certain proportion of unshielded damage taken by Fu Xuan's allies over to her for a certain number of rounds. The Matrix of Presence grants the team knowledge. When in the knowledge state, all or er, yeah, allied characters will have increased max HP and crit rates. Oh, sweet, she's actually awesome. When Fu Xuan is down, Matrix of Presence will be dispelled. Overall, sounds really good. Is it just active the whole time, I hope? Or a couple of rounds? I guess we'll wait and see. Ultimate. Oh my god. Deal quantum damage to all enemies and increase Fu Xuan's talent trigger count by one. Oh, she's insane! I thought her ult would be like a shield type thing as well. Okay, no, she's awesome. I I love how her abilities technically work. And I'm not mad at all, you know? I definitely have to see the numbers and how she works overall, but yeah, she works as a really good healer buffer overall. So you know what? I'm not mad whatsoever. I want to see how she plays and how her numbers are, but it doesn't look like she gives out an insane amount of, like, shield shield, but I want to see how her Misfortune Abundance type ability works. But it looks like she's massive damage reduction heals and little crits, crit buffs, so... Very excited to see how she works. We also have her Light Cone preview, so... Let's go over that, and remember, if uh, you like the video, subscribe, like, and check out all my other videos, because I need to make a lot of Honkai Star Rail and Genshin Impact guides, so if you need any of those, let me know. 
So here we have the light cone preview, celestial eyes above mortal runes. Not really much to say about light cones other than look over the ability, but let's take a look. HP, damage, and shield, all good. Increase wearer's max HP by 24% and energy regenerate by 12%, so obviously ridiculously good. When the wearer's HP is decreased, increase the damage of all allies by 9% for two turns. At the beginning of each wave, restores HP equal to 80% of HP already lost by the character themselves for the team. Oh, wow, for team. That's insane. It's actually such a sick AoE heal type light cone. Oh my god, th wait, what? Yeah, I would pull for this if you want a like busted ass healing light cone. I think that's like the best for a while, like we've gotten obviously. And that's preservation. Yeah, dude, that's insane. Insane. So I like it. Light cone preview. Refractions of sunlight. Resistance, resistance. Attack, crit rate, nice. And then defense. Where's not bad overall. I like these light cones, but man, that's busted, busted, huh? She already shuts her eyes. Well, yeah, let me know what you kind of think about that. At the beginning of each wave, though, restores HP equal to 80% of HP already lost by a character themselves for the team. The effect uh, only works on characters of Path of Preservation. Yeah, of course. So this would be really good on, you know, if you have a Jep Jepard, a Jepardo. If you have, obviously, pulled for her, for Fu Xuan, it's going to be ridiculous as well. And you have to remember, this is Super Imposition 1. So at max rank, it's doubled. So 48, 24... Right, 18%, equal to 160% of HP already lost. So if you get that, and if you're a whale and you have the funds to spare, that is ridiculous nice. So yeah, as always, check out all my socials, Epic Games Creator Code, Pupsker, my Twitch, all of that. If you want to support the channel, I'll randomly be streaming Honkai Star Rail and maybe some Genshin here and there because of the streaming event going on right now and because I want more Stellar Jades, all that jazz. So thank you all for supporting the channel. Cheers.